all your sense organs, the eyes, ears, nose, tongue, skin, all of them, through which the outer world of stimuli reaches you, well controlled. Or else, your mind will get shattered. Contemplation can never be successful. Discipline at the body level. Sarvatra. Under all conditions, time and place. Samabuddhaya. Your intellect is never oscillating or agitated. You are insulted, Jagadishwara. You are applauded, Hari Hari. No difference. Whether you are carrying the cross along the streets of Jerusalem when people are spitting on your face which you don't deserve, half an inch. Drip by drip, drop by drop, the blood is oozing out of the three holes made on your palm and the feet and you are thus hanging from the cross. Half an inch is smiling. Oh Lord, they know not what they do. That is called a Samabut. <coughs> Shishupala cursing Ram and Krishna. <coughs> Choicest Gali. Given to five generations. Not only him, but Tumara Babi Isat. Babka Babubi. Thus five generations gave. The smile was the same. Not getting excited. He insulted me. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing wrong in it. But look at the load that that fool is carrying on their head. The anxiety, the worry, the planning. Perverted guy. He knows no peace or joy in this world. He's to be pitied. Learn to keep your back. And if such mind is disturbed, what will you meditate upon? Except planning how to destroy that fellow. Because he insulted me. Forgive the whole world. He insulted you, poor man, never knew my true nature. Forgive. His ignorance. Godlike forgiveness. Then your mind is at peace. A peaceful mind is necessary for me to contemplate. So if you are a student of contemplation, you must learn to keep your mind, your intellect, your judgments, peaceful, serene, under all circumstances. 